This is a quick little talk on how to deal with the theory of writing assignment because I think this one can be a little abstract and I'd like to talk a little bit about um, how to make it easier for you. So in this um, assignment, um, there we go, the key concepts in this course that we've been talking about have been we've been planning things, we talked about finding sources, we dealt with peer review, We've talked about finding alternative perspectives. We've talked about reflective writing. All of these things are processes that we've gone through in practicing things for this particular class. And all of these things can be part of your theory of writing because they're all part of how you think about things and how you um, consider uh, creating information through writing and also composing other things like the videos and the infographics. So these are the key concepts from this course that you might want to include in your theory of writing. Questions that might help you to ask yourself can be how do you decide what to write? How do you decide why you're writing it? How you decide what format to put it in, and how do you decide what kind of language to put it in. So these are all choices that you need to make as you're creating a piece of writing, and these are things that you probably think about and you have principles that will help you make these decisions. That's part of your theory of writing. Now, MindTap Chapter 1 has some really important things for you to think about there also. It talks about why we write, um, decisions that you need to make when you're writing for the community or writing for the workplace. So if you go through MindTap Chapter 1 and look at the bulleted points in that chapter, it can be very helpful for you as you decide um, how, what principles you use to help you make decisions about how you write. Now, the sections of your theory of writing could be, if it's helpful to you, arranging it according to those questions. So you might think about how you decide what to write, and that'll be how you talk about decisions about content, how you, um, how you decide why you're writing, what is the purpose of the writing, and how when you consider purpose, how does that change what, you decide, what kind of content you decide to talk about. Um, how you decide what format to put it in. Is it an a MLA, APA? I think I made you do MLA, but you can also think about format in terms of audience and context, meaning am I writing, in, uh, am I writing for my professor, am I writing for my friends, things like that. Well, how do you make those decisions? How do you decide what kind of language to put in? Is it personal language, like in the, um, in the journals? Or is it informal language, like in the genre recasting? Is it formal or professional, such as what you put in your um, research report? You might also talk about your process of writing and how you go about composing a piece of writing or composing um, your genre recasting, talking about your process. And then, of course, you'll need to have your conclusion. Um, one way that you can accrete the coral reef of your draft is to take these sections and paste the information from your journals, from your blog postings. Oh, and don't worry about the quizzes. The quizzes were from somewhere else. So I'm going to take that out so that you don't worry about it. These are the things that can be most helpful to you. So you can, um, so your journals and your blog postings and your reflections actually can all be things that you can paste into this that will help you with your theory of writing. And then you want to add transitions. So once you've pasted all of your information into your um, into the sections, then you can turn them all into paragraphs, but you're going to need transitions. So there is a handout of transitions in the Theory of Writing tab in our Blackboard course. So once you've done all that, for next Tuesday, that's when your draft of your Theory of Writing is due and your Journal 7. And Journal 7 is something that as you're composing it, you might want to put that in your draft as well. So these are all things that you might consider in order to make composing the draft of your Theory of Writing easier to do.